So let's talk about your um, first cluster here. We do have the Ace of Swords, and the Ace of Swords indicates to me a victory. And this is a victory that comes about through a lot of hardship and a lot of struggle. We see this mountain in the background, and the mountain is like overcoming major, major obstacles and hurdles in order to get yourself to the place where you are starting to feel like you're on top of the mountain, okay? This is a very, very good card. It also indicates to me communication, um, truths coming to light, communication, and also... It signifies cutting away at a situation, cutting somebody, relationships out of our lives, um, acquaintances, work situations, cutting out situations from your life that is no longer good for you. It's like cutting out loose ends or cutting out, you know, excess baggage so that you can move forward and you can be a little bit um lighter a little bit more decluttered and you have better mental clarity okay it's linked up with the prince of wands and the prince of wands is usually um this is basically the knight of wands and a lot of you could be you know making breaking some ties with a fire sign and the fire sign is um the sagittarius aries and leo so the prince of wands usually shows up as um fire sign first of all but it, it, if it's like a relationship partner it's somebody who blazes through like who's in and out of your life and they're not very stable they might have the wandering eyes they might not be looking for any type of a long-term committed relationship and as a result of it they're just you know in and out and here today gone the next and they're not somebody that you can count on long term and when it comes to you know your only relationships it feels to me as if you want a little bit more stability or you want a little bit more consistency you want somebody that will be there when you know when you need them rather than they seek you out when they need something from you so i feel like for a lot of you um you might be letting go of this energy okay what i'm also sensing is um there might be some information that is being revealed with this person. There might be something that you have always like wondered about, but now you're getting the information. And the information is coming in very, very strongly about this person so that you can open your eyes. So I feel like in that case, it can be good or bad information. But I do sense in, in certain situations, it might just be truths that you might have wondered about, but you never got confirmation on, okay? So you're getting some news, some information, some confirmation about this person. And as a result, you might have to sever them from your life, or you might have to like um, um, have some type of a direct conversation or direct confrontation with this person. Um, the next cards deal with communication and news and messages. So once again, I feel like you're getting a lot of communication and this is through, you know, um, this is through all channels of your life. This is like opening up your mailbox and having like uh, 150 really important emails from clients. This is also getting a lot of good reception if you're on the dating front, getting a lot of people who want to date you, who want to get to know you. So you open up your inbox and there are a gazillion messages. Um, it's also, you know, through the standard channel of snail mail and um, text messages, phone calls and things like that. And um, overall, it indicates messages. And what I'm also picking up is I mentioned earlier you have very strong heightened psychic abilities. You're getting messages from the other side as well. So you're bombarded with messages this month, Virgos, and a lot of it is coming through from physical channel on this realm. A lot of it is also coming in from a spiritual realm. And this is what I'm feeling here. For those of you who have been involved with somebody and um, you suspect that they might be seeing other people, you suspect that they might be attached or whatever that case is, I feel you're getting confirmation from the universe that they are indeed with other people. Okay? And I'm sorry to deliver the news, but I feel like some divine protection coming in here, giving you the information, giving you the truth so that you can, you know, get the closure you need and you can move forward. So I feel like that might be the case that's happening. But either way, you're getting through a lot of messages and you're getting them through different channels. Uh, some of the messages that are coming through are related to finances, related to career and work. So for example, 
if you're not happy with your work, you might like hear your coworkers just randomly talking about, oh, there's this you you know new startup company and they're hiring for that exact position that you're that that you um, occupy. So I feel like there might be you know serendipitous like moments, um, opportunities, and and just snippets of information coming your way that you need to take heed of, okay? And um, Mercury Retrograde actually brings us a lot of really good insights that we should mull over. We shouldn't execute them in the real world, but we should mull over because it's a lot of lightning fast spiritual guidance as well that comes through in the Mercury Retrograde period. I do feel that um, there's travel opportunities as well for those of you who are traveling. I feel like if you're traveling this month, it's going to be like overseas into a foreign land and it's going to be very, very good for you actually. So if you have already uh, planned the, the trip and you absolutely can't delay it, then go for it. You're going to have a really good time. If you are planning a trip right now, I would advise you not to do it, mainly because Mercury in retrograde is not a great time to plan things, okay? In terms of your family and your... Um, Family unit. Let's talk about the family unit. The Ten of Pentacles is a generational wealth card. This is usually the family card, okay? It can be people we live, we live with, or it can be people that we consider to be family. I feel like there might be a family member that you, um, that you need advice from. You need some type of counsel. They might not be in your immediate surrounding. So you're kind of thinking about them and you're trying to reach out to them or you wish that they could come see you or you could come and travel to see them so i feel some kind of like needing advice this can be you know an air sign aquarius gemini and libra there might be some discord in the family with a gemini aquarius libra or you are needing some type of counsel some some type of advice some type of spiritual guidance from this person but they're they seem to me like they're residing somewhere else and you're trying to get a hold of them or you wish you could take a trip to go see them what i'm also feeling as well is um there's a lot of wealth that is accumulated over time, okay? So for a lot of you, there might be new additions to, to the family. Um, if you're traveling, you might need somebody to take care of your house or to watch over your property. For others of you, there might be like elderly parents, family reunions and things like that, opportunities for you to get back in touch with your family unit. That's coming into the picture as well. Um, for others, there might be a situation where you are dividing up assets between you and a significant other. You are emerging into a point where, you know, you're signing paperwork or you have been separated or divorced very recently. And now you're finally, finally um, agreeing on how to divide up your physical assets so that you both can move forward. Okay. In terms of your work and your finances, we have the Three of Pentacles as well as the Princess of Wands. So the Three of Pentacles is a situation where we are working and collaborating with another person to build something of value. This is a very, very good card when it pertains to advancement on the career front, advancement in terms of your monetary gains, and also getting a lot of clients or getting um, yourself, like publicizing yourself or getting like a lot of recognition from other people without even going through, you know, marketing channels. So you are very well received, very sought after by other people for your skills and your services. I do feel as well that this is a very, very good card to get when it comes to building up something of value overall. So it can be investing your money. It can also be just um, work. You're at a job, I feel, so Virgos, no matter what you do, you always do it well. So whatever job you're at, within like a few years, you're going to find yourself with a lot of responsibilities. That's just the way the the, the cookie crumbles. And I know it's not fair. I've, I've seen a lot of Virgos who, you know, they they take on a lot more responsibilities than other people. And then wherever they go, they just end up in a position where other people dump a lot of responsibilities on them. So, you know, drawing the line early on and uh, telling other people what you will and will not accept and you want balance and fairness in your work relationship so that is something that you're going to have to actively you know try to defend okay i also feel like um the job that you're in right now i feel that you have a lot more skills than your co-workers and um 
you're working alongside them and you're all of you are getting paid the same amount you know more or less about the same amount but it seems to me like you're you have a lot more skills than they do so you end up doing a lot of the work and that's not fair and I feel that it's really important for you to figure out if that is always the case I feel that it's it's good for you to negotiate your salary okay don't be afraid don't shy from this situation if you find yourself constantly at um, you know meetings and you give a lot of insights and you know exactly what you're talking about and the other people there's like this steep learning curve for them and every, and the boss sees that then you know further down the line go and talk about uh, go and negotiate your salary and ask for a salary increase because you're also bringing in the skills that you know you're bringing into the work environment it's not just clocking in clocking out calling it a day and getting a salary it's the skills that you're bringing to the job environment to the work environment it's the skills that you're you know passing on to other people in the process of collaborating with other people so you're bringing a lot to the table and you need to negotiate your salary okay so don't shy away from it I feel that it's going to be really good for you additionally what I'm sensing is there is a fire sign in your work environment here and um, this is showing up here as um, the princess or the page of wands so there's a lot of communication overall and um, I'm reading it more as like a an energy rather than a person because it's a page and pages are messengers and they're people that deal with messages there's a lot of opportunities to collaborate with other people with other people in the work environment you're going to have a very very good collaborative month when it comes to dealing with other people but like I mentioned before um, a lot of people they they don't have the skills that you have so you might have to like slow down you might have to over explain to cat to get them you know to get everybody on the same page okay so don't when you have these meetings don't assume that everyone is like on equal footing don't assume that everyone is uh, where they are supposed to be in terms of technical skills you might have to do a refresher course you might have to like you know do some um, preliminary setup so that to get everyone on the same page before you launch off and in, into your own specific presentation okay so when you're dealing with other people just you know try to gauge their baseline of where they're at before you launch into things that are too technical because I feel like it might be above them and I'm sorry if that sounds like really condescending but I feel like that's what's happening in the work environment and we have some um, troubles when it comes to communication so you might want to you know just try to minimize the effects of that by gauging where they are technical like in terms of their technical knowledge gauge their baseline before you start the launching off okay let's talk about your um, advice here so for a lot of you you have suffered some major major disappointment heartache and you know uh, a separation from a beloved person in your life okay and it's telling you that this situation actually is um, it's done and over with it's out of your control you are healing from it as well because we do have new beginnings coming right on the heels of that okay the judgment card is a very very good card that indicates as well support and um, camaraderie and also you know just emotional physical support coming in from the family unit it's also a situation in which um, there is going to be basically whatever has been wrong done to you wrongfully will there will be compensation for it as well okay so you don't need to worry from this situation and on top of that we do have the success card with the chariot you have two success card the ace of swords as well as the chariot which indicates to me this is the month in which you are going to be center stage in which you need to really assert yourself in order for you to win in order for you to um, get the recognition or to get your voice heard okay this is a really good month for you not to shy away from the spotlight but to seize the spotlight in order to right some type of injustice that was done against you or I feel like if, if you want to implement something it is a really good month to get other to see your point of view so this is like you here you have a divine message that you need to deliver to other people about how to do things what we need to do how we need to move forward and I feel that you know um, you're, you're getting some divine blessing here and 
you getting knowledge on like the right things to say and the words and the actions that need to like um, accompany one another so that other people can listen to you and whatever you're trying to tell them they will heed your advice okay it's just like the method of delivery it needs to be done with a lot of fanfare it needs to be done boldly and it needs to strike true so just don't shy away from this confrontation don't shy away from it i don't see conflicts coming in so you don't need to worry it's just you know try to uh, soften the message or you know think about the delivery rather than the message i feel like that's important as well think about the delivery so for example watch your tone watch about you know gauge how somebody is reacting first before you delve deeper okay so it's telling me basically not to worry. Success is coming for you. A lot of you have started a new job. You're getting a little bit frustrated and I do feel uh, the situation is going to clear up. You're going to be in a position where others are looking up to you and they are deferring to your guidance and your expertise. And either way, if you're not happy with the current job, I do feel something coming through in three months time. So that is going to take us towards like the... Um, July August time frame okay July August time frame so either way there is um, there will be opportunities coming through for those of you who are traveling I don't feel any dangers I do feel uh, traveling to see old friends old families as well and it's going to be a very good thing for you to do to clear your mind and to actually um, see the world so it, it seems very very good um, I just want to say for those of you who have been wronged in the past, either like by a romantic partner or by a work situation like a boss or, you know, just troublesome people at work, I do feel you have some um, divine retribution coming through to whoever it was that has wronged you. So not to worry, the, the universe has a way of balancing things out, okay? 